What's up you guys and welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're gonna be doing a full face of new drugstore makeup. There have been so many new releases and I'm so excited to do a full face testing all of it with you guys today. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you're notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I don't have a new primer so I already primed my skin and we're just gonna jump in with foundation and we're gonna try the new She Glam foundation bombs. These just recently launched. They're like $8 and some change. They come in 30 different shades and they're supposed to be super full coverage yet still like hydrating and long wearing on the skin. So I'm really excited. I feel like foundation bombs are all the rage and a lot of companies are starting to come out with them. So I'm definitely interested to see how this one does. I have shade eight here, which I'm hoping should match my patchy self tan. I'm going to be fixing that tonight, but Bear with me guys. Um, anyway, so let's just go in and try this. I'm just gonna use a beauty blender. You could definitely use like a brush with this too, but I'm just a beauty blender type of gal. So I'm just gonna kind of dip it in there and get some on. Okay, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna go in and just press it into the skin. Okay, shade wise, it's looking good. Again, there are 30 different shades, so it can be overwhelming to find which one is your right one, but it's amazing that there are so many shades, obviously, especially because a lot of times affordable brands don't have as big of shade ranges, but not this one. I'm kind of just applying it on like one side of my face so we can see. Right off the bat, it's definitely like a soft matte texture, which is cool because a lot of other foundation bombs that I've tried are more dewy, um, where this one isn't dewy. So I feel like even if you have oily skin, you don't have to be scared of this foundation balm because it definitely does have that matte finish, but it doesn't seem drying to my skin. And that just gave me like a really good coverage. So I'm gonna go in on the other side and just pounce it on. Obviously you could probably get even more coverage if you used a brush, but this is more than enough coverage for me. And it looks really, really nice. Okay, this is looking really good. Okay, I love how this looks. That was so easy to apply. Like it was really fast to be able to do it. And I feel like it looks really, really good on my skin. I feel like I am really, really impressed with this, especially for like under $9. This might be like a new fave of mine. Gave me a great coverage, feels moisturizing on my skin, even though it's a matte finish. Like my skin does not feel dry at all. So check the description box. I'll update it on how well it wears throughout the day. I will wear it for the entire day. So check down there where I list all the products. I'll put a little wear test update, but so far I think it looks really, really nice. And a lot of you guys had messaged me about this when it first launched, like, please, will you do a review? So I know a lot of you guys were interested in it. So yeah, like I said, I will link it in the description and I will put the wear test update, but it looks beautiful. All right, I'm just gonna go in with a little concealer. We don't need any like concealer anywhere else besides the under eyes, just because that was pretty full coverage. I don't have any new concealer, so I'm just jumping in with some and then we're gonna go in with a new cream bronzer that I am really stoked about and a new cream blush. Oh my gosh, so many cream products, but I am living for it. So let me just blend this out. Okay guys, I apologize. We do have a new bronzer to test out, but they are powder bronzers, not cream bronzers. I don't know why I thought they were cream. So we're gonna test them. We'll just do them later with our powder products because I do all the cream products first. So sorry about that, but we have the new Elf Luminous Putty Blushes. Oh my goodness. When I saw this, I was like, Literally the star eyes emoji. I love the e.l.f. putty blushes. They are like literally my favorite high end, low end. Like they're just beautiful. And the fact that they came out with a luminous version, I was dying because you guys know I really like the new Say cream blushes, which that's a high end brand at Sephora. They have like a dew blush, which is basically a luminous cream blush. And I love it. But obviously it is a high end product. That's, it's at a more expensive price point. So our friends over at e.l.f. always helping us out, giving us the best products. So I am so stinking excited. So I have shade Bermuda right here. I thought that this looked beautiful and we're gonna go in and apply it. Oh my gosh, okay. Let me grab a little blush brush and we're gonna apply and see how this works. Oh my goodness, I'm really, really hoping. I mean, honestly, I feel like e.l.f. 90% of the time kills it on their products. So let's hope that this is no exception. Oh my goodness. First of all, this color looks beautiful and it's definitely pigmented. I only really put a little bit on my brush, but it is blending out so pretty. Oh my gosh, and I see the glow. <gasps> you guys. Okay, this might be my new like summer must have. How pretty is that? Oh my gosh, okay, first of all, like it gives us the cream blush, then it gives us a little bit of luminosity, not too much, and it's not like chunky glitter, like it's just like a glow. 
switching out my brush for the other side. I don't like that brush that I was using. It's like prickly on my face, but I am dying. Oh, and this shade though is so pretty too. Okay, I'm gonna literally just go and order all the shades because <gasps> So, so pretty. I'm gonna put it on my nose too. Oh my goodness. This is just so, so stunning. Like, you guys know I always get excited over great drugstore products. I just love drugstore makeup. And when brands come out at, with amazing products at affordable prices, I just get like so excited. And oh, this is so pretty. I I knew I was gonna love these. I, I just knew it. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little powder on my under eyes just to set those down. And then we're gonna go in and test a brand new eyeshadow palette that I am very excited about. Also forgot I have to do my brows as well. So let me get those in place and I will be right back. All right, we're back. Now for our eyes, I wanna try this new ColourPop Get In Fresh palette. It looks so beautiful. We have warm tone neutrals, but then we also have some pretty pops of color. Like the lime green is so pretty. I feel like that's such an in color right now, especially in fashion and stuff. So why not bring it to makeup as well? So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna go in the shade more and more to start. And I'm gonna just buff that in the crease and bring it up into the upper crease area as well. This one's super warm, so it almost looks like a burnt orange, like a lighter burnt orange shade. It definitely has like those orangey tones, which for summer I really love. But the nice thing about this palette too is that if you don't really like that, they do have like some more cool tone neutrals in here as well that pull a little bit more cool depending on your skin, your undertones, and what you personally prefer. I always love these big palettes from ColourPop because I feel like they give so many different options of like different looks that you can really create with them. It's like endless, you know? When you have 30 different shades, like you could create so many different things and their shadows are quality at an affordable price, so. Y'all know I love ColourPop's eyeshadows. They are some of my faves. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the shade That's Life now, and I'm gonna put that in the crease as well and use that to deepen it up. This one I'm not gonna bring into the upper crease area. I'm just gonna keep it right on in there. You guys know, as always, I do have an affiliate code with ColourPop. It's just code Kelly, um, which will get you 10% off of all of their products on their website. So feel free to use it if you would like to save some money. Okay, now I wanna go in with this kind of like orangey shimmer shade. This is Do Your Thing. I'm gonna just use my finger for this. Looks really pretty. And I'm gonna press that on my upper lid. Ooh, I love this, like a salmon-y kind of orange. Let me know, do you consider salmon pink or orange? I consider it orange, but it's a pinky orange, you know what I mean? But when I said that, I was like, wait, is salmon supposed to be pink? I think it's orange, right? Let me know what you consider it. I feel like it could go either way. But I wanted to use this more orangey shade on the lid because I want to do the green pop. And I love the color combo of like lime green with orange. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. I'm gonna jump in with the shade Freak, which is kind of like a light champagne. And I'm gonna place that in the inner corner, kind of blend it into that salmon. And same thing beneath the brow bone as well. Now I wanna go back in and deepen up the crease just a little bit. I'm gonna use this deepest shade. This is Soft Launch. And I'm gonna just use that in the crease to kind of sculpt it out, just to really add some extra depth. I'm gonna go in and just blend that so we have no harsh lines. Now for our greens. So all of the greens are shimmers in here, which I wish they would have done one like matte one. Like we have this, which is a matte green, but it's very, very dark. I was wishing we would have a lime that was more matte, but we have the point, which has only a little bit of shimmer in it. So I'm gonna go in with this first and I'm gonna apply this to my lower lash line. It's very light. So I'm just gonna get it down as like a base, but then we're gonna go in with the shimmer to really make it pop. Cause I feel like this is more of like a highlighter almost like yellow once it's actually applied. But now I'm gonna go in with Cereal, which is like the brightest green in the palette, or like the brightest lime, I guess I would say. And I'm gonna press it on top. When you're using shimmer shades like this on the lower lash line, it's better to not drag them across and blend like we normally would. And if you press them in, it'll work better and then they won't like poof and go everywhere, especially if they are like highly shimmery like this one is. I'm just pressing that in. I do wish this was a little bit more like pop, you know? But it is still really pretty. Just definitely like a lighter green, more fluorescent, I guess I would say, kind of shade. So I'm just pressing that down. And then I'm gonna go in with that deepest dark green that I talked about before. This one is a matte, it's in the shade Hot Take. And I'm gonna press that against the upper lash line. Probably only gonna do about halfway, and then I'm gonna make a little wing with it. So we kind of connect those greens and just kind of diffuse it outwards to make a little wing moment. Okay, for mascara, we have new, this is new Ur from Milani. I haven't tried it, but it has been out for a few months. 
months. Um, but this is the highly rated, highly rated anti-gravity mascara. So I'm going to go in with it. It kind of has like a figure eight sort of looking wand. So I'm interested to see. I'm gonna just go in with this. A lot of you guys were telling me that you really like this and recommended it and wanted me to try it. So I went out and got it and it actually is looking really good on my lashes. If I don't say so myself, but like, whoa, I feel like this is doing a really nice job. I've really been into like the lifted elongated like lashes. And I feel like that's exactly what this is giving me. Ooh, I just got some on my nose. Hang on. Okay, this honestly might be a new favorite. I feel like it looks really, really good. I think I used too much on this side. It can get a little clumpy, so you gotta be careful to not like overuse it. Let me like wipe some of the product off, just kind of go with a cleaner wand and just kind of try and separate them out. All right. Me saying not to overuse it and then going in with more, but I cleaned the wand off to try and not really have product on it. Okay, yeah, see, I feel like I overuse it. You really only need like one coat of this and I feel like it looks really, really nice, but don't keep going because then it can clump up like I feel like I just did with it. Some people like the more thicker kind of look. Um, I liked the way it looked when I just had one coat on it, so I overdid it, but with one coat of this, I feel like it looked really, really pretty, so I do really like this. Just beware to not use too much of it, but definitely a good drugstore mascara. I like this a lot. I'm gonna go in and just do one coat on my lower lashes. Yeah, like I feel like on my lower lashes, it like looks better because it's not, it's just one coat, you know? But that's why I do these first impressions so I can let you guys know these things. Okay, for my liner, I grabbed this cream gel liner in the shade Electric Daisy. This is from ColourPop because I figured we could do a little green liner in the waterline. I have never done green waterline liner, but there is a first for everything. And this actually looks pretty and brings out the green on the lower lashes. That actually really helps to like, I feel like make it pop a little bit more. I like that, I'm glad that I added that. Now for the bronzers that I for some reason thought were cream. I feel like because they're in such big packaging, I figured it was cream, but they're not. These are the ColourPop Matte Bronzers. These are brand new. This is the shade I'm going to use. This is Silver Strand Beach. I think this is the one right in the middle. There are like two lighter and two darker. But you know what? I might use this one. This is Summerland Beach. This is one shade lighter. So I might use this one first and then we can always go in with a little bit deeper if I feel like I need it, but we're gonna go in with this. I'm gonna use this more so to kind of sculpt out the skin. They are a matte bronzer, so I'm gonna just put them through like the three motion technique. Did anybody else's mom like tell them this in middle school? My mom always told me to make a three, but she got that from like the lady at like the MAC counter, I think, or like Bare Minerals or something, because my mom didn't really wear makeup, but I would just take my bronzer and put it all over my face. My mom was like, no, that's not how we do it. <laughs> so you make like a three and that kind of like carves out your face. This is actually really nice because it's very like light and natural. And I feel like this kind of is a nice in between of that new like brontouring technique that it's like it's both a bronzer and a contour and you can kind of use it to add warmth to your skin but also contour the skin because these are more warm toned. They're not super cool toned bronzers which is typically what we see for contour but they are matte. Um, so I actually like these. They're good for like I said the brontour kind of trend where they kind of contour and bronze the skin all at once. So actually really pretty. And the shade was perfect for me. So I like this a lot. Gave like a little beachy bronzy glow. Okay, now speaking of bronzer for the rest of our face, I wanted to go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Dream Team Face Palette. So in this palette, you get six different options. Let me take off the plastic coating. So there's a highlight, a face powder, two blushes, and two bronzers. So you have kind of like a luminous bronzer, a more matte bronzer, a more matte blush with a luminous blush, and then, you know, so forth. You guys get it kind of. Bottom row, more matte. Top row, more shimmer. So obviously, I feel like we have enough bronzer on. I'm not going to go with any additional bronzer, but I do really want to use this blush. I'm probably just going to mix together the two of them and we'll use them both. And then we'll use the highlight on our cheeks. Or you know what I'll do is I'll do one blush on each side so you can see them both on their own and then I'll kind of mix them. So I'm going to go in with the more shimmery one on this side. Obviously we already have that beautiful elf blush on, so we don't really need that much extra blush, but oh, this is actually really pretty. It like layered nice with the e.l.f. one because this one also has the shimmer so it brings out like the shimmer in the e.l.f. too. I actually really, really like this. This is beautiful, this blush right here. Okay, 
like that. Now let me switch my brush and let's try the more matte one. This one looks much lighter, so it probably won't show up as much color wise. Yeah, definitely a lighter blush, but still pretty nonetheless. And like you get both options in the palette if you want something a little bit more natural or a little bit more like va va boom, you know? So let me just mix them now so we don't look like we're wearing two different blushes, even though we are. Or actually, I guess three blushes now at this point. This look is so summery. I literally love it. Okay, now let's go in with the highlight. So this is the Murmur Butter Highlight. It looks really pretty, but let's see how it performs. It looks like it could be a little dark on me. Oh no, okay, it actually isn't. Because in the pan, it looks a bit of a deeper highlight. Um, but it actually is stinking beautiful. Oh wow, that is so pretty. I feel like it looks a lot different on the skin than it looks in the pan. Um, it pulls like kind of yellowy undertones on the skin, but it looks so pretty. I really, really like this and it's obviously super blinding. So, I mean, beautiful. Put some down my nose as well and right above the cuvids though. Very, very pretty. And I feel like cause it's pulling kind of yellowy, it ties in again, like the light green on the under eyes and it just everything kind of flowed together good in today's tutorial. So I love when that happens because sometimes it can be hard to like make one cohesive look where you're trying to test a bunch of new things, but it worked out. Now last, but certainly not least, I had a hunt down for this, but I finally got my hands on the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink. I think that's just what they're called, Vinyl Ink Lippies. So I got this in shade Peachy. So I think you're supposed to shake these. I think I saw that somewhere, is that right? Because normally you don't shake lip products, so. I'm gonna shake it anyways. And then um, let's go in with this and see how it works. So this is what it looks like, little doe foot. Ooh, okay, I love the color. I was in between which shade to get, but I really like this one. And it smells like vanilla cupcakes or like a marshmallow. Very nice scent. Oh, wow. And I think I paid like $8.99 for this at Target. <gasps> okay, yeah, sold. This is so beautiful. Wow, I really, really love this. Like, ooh. And it's matte, but it doesn't feel drying, at least not yet. I'm gonna let it like set down because it still has a little bit of stickiness to it. So I'm gonna give it a minute to let it set down and see. Okay, it's been a couple minutes and it still kind of feels the same way. So I don't know that it's actually ever gonna completely set down. So it has a little bit of like tackiness to it, but nothing crazy, but it does not feel drying at all on my lips. And I love this shade. It's so pretty. Like overall, I just feel like our whole look came out so pretty today. So I'm so excited about that. And yeah, that is everything you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We tested a bunch of really good products. Like I'm very impressed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.